Hi everyone and welcome to Amy Learns to Cook. On the show today, we are going to do a product test and review of the Taco Tender. Now the nice people at Taco Tender sent me this to check it out because they know how much I love tacos. So we are going to try this out. We're going to make some tacos and you'll be able to see what a great addition this is to your kitchen. So join me as we take a look at the Taco Tender. So I just want to take this opportunity to thank Taco Tender for sending me this product so we can test this out. You guys know how I am with Mexican food and tacos. I grew up in California and Mexican food and tacos are the staple of what I eat. They are one of my absolute favorite foods. So if I can find something that makes it easier for me to make my tacos and makes my tacos even better, I am game for that. And that's what this product does. So what they sent me is the taco tender. And the taco tender is the world's greatest taco holder. And what the taco tender does, it, it holds your tacos upright so you can fill them with all your favorite toppings. And so it holds two tacos. It's more room on your plate to include your rice and beans. And it, they're oven safe to 400 degrees. Now they sent me two types. They sent me the traditional taco tender and the oven safe version. So we're gonna be using both of these. Um, and this is our taco tender. And they sent me a variety of colors. So these are the silicone ones. And what these are is you just place them on your plate, you put your tacos in here hard or soft, and then you can fill them. Because how many times have you filled your tacos and they just flop all over the place? They're laying sideways on the plate. Half the ingredients spill out, right? This allows you to stand your tacos upright, filling them easily, and making for easy work to make your tacos fabulous, right? So these are our silicone taco tenders. And these are the traditional taco tenders. So these are a three banger, right? This is for when we are really in the mood for some tacos. We got our regular taco night, and then we have our, I need some tacos. I haven't had any in a while. Give me three of those bad boys, right? And they come in all these colors. So let's get our ingredients together. I'm gonna wash these up and we are gonna make some tacos. So I got my taco tenders all washed up and we have them on a plate here. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two hard shelled tacos each. And then we're gonna do one soft shelled taco. Cool, look at this, I love it. I put these in the oven so my little, um, my little soft shell got a little, a little crunchy a little bit. So what we have here is just leftover shredded chicken. Eric had made this beer can style on the barbecue. We actually had it in the freezer. We threw it into a half pan with some um, chicken broth. We put it in the oven like a 250, heated it up, and it's absolutely delicious. We also have some chopped tomato. We put a little salt and pepper in there. We have some shredded lettuce. We have some um, shredded cheese. I have a little of my guacamole. Basically, I took my salsa and just mixed some avocado in it. Um, Eric wanted a little bit of hot sauce. We have a little bit of our salsa, and we have a little bit of the sour cream. So let's go ahead and make our tacos. So you can do chicken, you can do beef, you can do just veggie, you can do whatever you want. And look at how easy it is to fill our tacos. Mmm, it's delicious. This chicken is just a little bit smoky. I mean, you're never going to get anything this good at any restaurant. 
you have a nice smoky flavor to this chicken. It's just fabulous. Eric can make some serious beer can chicken. He actually has a video on that and how he makes it. I'll put a link to that in the description. Um, but even if you don't have time to make any chicken, you can just buy yourself a rotisserie chicken at your local grocery store, your club store, and have taco night in a matter of five minutes. That makes it really easy. So we're gonna put on a little bit of tomato. Yum. I don't even have to say, this is like over the top. This is taco night times 10. Oh, a salad? Hey, that's tomatoes, right? So we all know that drive through place where they have tacos, right? But you really don't know what's in their tacos. And you really don't want to know what's in their tacos. So we're going to put a little cheese into Eric's. Because he likes cheese. He's getting a little excited back there. <laughs> um, I'm going to put some guacamole in mine. Cause that's how I roll. You want guacamole, Eric? Yeah, you want some? And I'm just gonna put a little dollop of salsa. Yeah. I'm gonna put a little dollop of salsa. And Eric wants a little bit of sour cream. Should I put the lettuce on first? Seriously? I'm trying to give you some kind of vegetable there. And I know Eric wants some of this. That's enough. I got a whole tub. Give me more. So we're at the best part, and that's tasting our tacos. So I can tell you the taco tender made it very easy to make my tacos. I mean, I'm almost to the point where I'm like, I don't want to make my tacos without a taco tender. So let's go ahead and give them a taste. So it holds them very nice for filling, and now it's holding them very nice for eating. And I think they are just absolutely fabulous. So let's give our tacos a try. Mm. Mm -hmm. I was messy with my taco. Let's try the crunchy one. Mm -hmm. They're delicious. The guacamole is delicious. The chicken is really good. Um, mm -hmm. This would be great for taco night. On a weeknight, you can make it so easy with the rotisserie chicken. Your kids will love it. So I just want to take this opportunity to thank Taco Tender for sending me these. They are absolutely fabulous. I give them my thumbs way up. Um, if you're interested in taking a look at the Taco Tender, I'll put a link in the description to the Amazon page and you can take a look at them. If you like this video, please subscribe below and leave me a comment and a like and visit my website at amylearnstocook.com. I'm also on Twitter and Pinterest at amylearnstocook.com.